Uh, good afternoon, uh, namaste. This is my first visit to India, so I'm very excited and uh, also I'm uh, so uh, humbled uh, to, uh, because Naresh Jain invited me to uh, Ajao India. And, uh, and also I'm very proud of uh, Ajao is becoming uh, popular here and uh, some of roots of Ajao is, was in Japan, so I would like to uh, share with you uh, the thoughts today. And uh, I will uh, talk uh, one thing, uh, no, one more thing about Japan. Uh, I'm very. I have been in this agile development uh, movement uh, for more than ten years. But in Japan, we are still uh, struggling uh, in uh, waterfall, uh, waterfall rigid uh, uh, situation. So I would like to share that with you too. And uh, I will discuss. I would like. I would like discuss with you. Uh, the difference between India and Japan situation. So my uh, talk is a, a two-parter. One is Agile adoption is, is in Japan, and the other is Nonaka Scrum. Uh, do you know Nonaka, Fujiro Nonaka? Yes, Greg knows, all. <laughs> of course. Uh, he invented the word Scrum. So I will uh, look later uh, into it. it. So agenda uh, would be, uh, I will uh, introduce myself a bit, uh, and then I will uh, talk uh, talk to you about agile adoption situation in Japan, and then I go on to Nanaka's Scrum. So, uh, before I coming to India, I did a bit of research, and uh, how agile is uh, going on here, and uh, how Japan is accepted in India, and I found this one. Uh, I was so surprised, but because do you know Draymond? Yes. Oh, and anyone know Draymond? Uh, and just everyone, everyone of the kids would know Draymond. Really? Okay. Uh, do you know this is from Japan? Yes. 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 Oh, this uh, cartoon is my elementary school uh, cartoon. So it's about more than uh, thirty-five years ago in Japan, <laughs> and it's still alive. So amazing. <laughs> Yes, I was born in 1966, okay. so uh, yeah, it's very old. I'm uh, very prou proud <laughs> to see Draymond here. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm a trans book translator also, and I translated all those uh, early uh, XP books, and Lean books, and Agile Project Management books. And I myself uh, wrote books about object-oriented things, UML things, my mapping which I will talk uh, on, on Saturday. And my new book is about Scrum and uh, with Nonaka-san, uh, authored by Nonaka-san. Uh, the title, it's in Japanese, sorry, but uh, the title is Agile and Scrum, Collaborative Software Development that Connects Customers, Engineers, and Managers. And uh, I also work for a company called uh, Asta.net, or Change Vision. And, uh, we have been developing this UML mind mapping integrated tool. Uh, by any chance, do you know this Asta or Jude tool? Anybody? Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, in Japan, it's very well known. And in Brazil, uh, lots of people know, know about this. I'm very proud. We have an iPad version and <coughs> Windows Mac version. And um, a bit of my story. Uh, in nine, 2008, I was. Uh, I was a, a recipient of a Golden Basket Award. And Naresh Jain, who is chair of uh, Agile India, is also, was also a, a 2007 winner of uh, Golden Basket. OK, uh, okay, let's start the talk. So uh, I <laughs> was also surprised this is famous too, right? <laughs> <laughs> and this one too. And. Um, I mean, I, I'll show you the amazing. <laughs> uh, Japan is very good at cartoons, and uh, my uh, friend, who is in Bard of E, uh, that's Bard, and, uh, and they created Japanese version of Scrum in one picture. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? And to me, India is uh, like this, and the uh, most famous Indian thing in Japan is this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know this one? Of course, yeah. yeah. A lot of fan of this movie in Japan. Yes. He's still famous. Sir. He's still famous. <laughs> yeah. 
really, yeah. Japanese love those in dancing in the <laughs> movie. Okay, um, this is a short, small research I did. Uh, the agile, uh, word term agile, uh, I Google searched the trend. And UK say UK, this is starts from uh, 2005, but uh, has been all this way. But Google trend just start this here. And uh, India is so big, uh, Agile is so big and coming down. And Brazil is coming boost, boosted, soared uh, in 2009. Do you know why? Uh, because India, uh, yeah, Brazil is also uh, doing uh, outsourcing business from U US and UK. And they are in the same time zone with the customers. So they used Skype or other net meeting tools to uh, real time communicate uh, with customers. So I suspect this shooting is uh, the American uh, companies found a good place to outsource their IT divisions. And Japan, here, always low. I don't know, um, I'm very sad, but uh, I have been struggling with this situation for this 10 or 11 years, but still here. This is uh, con by country. Japan, India is very hot, and Brazil getting hot, and of course US, UK, and, and North American area, and Europe are hot, was hot. And I was involved in a research uh, funded by IPA, which is a Japanese government uh, funded uh, project, and I did a some research. And it says that Japan is behind in agile adoption, and it's uh, the cause maybe in industrial structure and where user company and uh, SIR are divided by contracts. <coughs> and uh, SIR has a lot of subcontractors. I don't know if this SIR term uh, communicates well here, but uh, they are, yeah, 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 it did <laughs> communicate it well. Yeah, system integrators. In Japan, there are several. Uh, four or six, uh, depending on the counting, but uh, SIRs, uh, big, big SIRs, and they contract with companies, uh, we call user companies, who, who do business with IT, or who reduce costs with IT, and a contract, then SIR divide it into pieces and subcontract to uh, small house, software houses. And that was one reason. And in Japan, uh, job is, also a long-term, uh, considered long-term life decision. And changing job in Japan is looked at something bad. So we stay in a company. It's, we consider company as a family. So uh, engineer turnover rate is very low. So that's, uh, that's uh, one, more, one of the reasons too. Um, this is the number. This number is from uh, Scrum Alliance, um, and, uh, the boost, boost of a Scrum uh, Masters, number of Scrum Masters. It says it's very becoming very uh, rapidly uh, popular. I don't think this uh, is the main key uh, index, but uh, it says something. And I, I uh, did research too. Uh, this is a, a number uh, by countries. United States always. Uh, there's different scales. Much, um, most portion of the uh, uh, Scrum Masters are in the United States. And second, uh, sorry, uh, UK here in the same scale, China, Denmark, Brazil. And I researched uh, the number here, Japan and India. Japan like this, very low, still low. India, oh, good, <laughs> very big number. So, um, so t t uh, I analyzed my uh, why Japan is so behind about uh, uh, this is a picture I draw. Uh, as I said, there is a user company who uses IT for business or internally, and it has a IT department, and it's all, always small in Japan. And IT department make a uh, 
requests or requirements and assign a contract with them and divide into uh, software houses. So structure is like this. And um, here's, here's the main contract. Here's the main contract. And here's another subcontract. And here's another. I once heard that uh, the, this contract chain, eight levels. Eight levels of contract. So the, the, all the way here, leaf of the uh, engineers is like uh, two people company or something like that. And they all this SIA control, or they, they think they are controlling <laughs> the whole uh, project. And uh, this subcontract chain is, uh, and also one team, uh, Agile uh, is, in order to do a good Agile, uh, we have to make this a, a whole team, but this whole team consists of those people uh, divided by contracts and contracts. So sharing goals is very difficult. Great. Kenji, in the traditional model, mm -hmm. um, what's the, is there any statistics on the amount of customer satisfaction in the user companies with what they're getting, mm -hmm. like fitness for purpose oh. and so forth? I don't have with it with me right now. This is right. one of the very most inefficient way of developing any Yes. Right. This small piece of two days work can take two months probably. Yes. Do you have any informal sense of how happy the user customers are with this model in terms of getting what they want? Yes, they are unhappy. 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 Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm in the unhappy situation for 10 years. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm struggling with uh, this situation and trying to change this. So I started uh, Agile Japan, uh, like Agile India. And um, I, uh, in 2009, I invited Mary Popendick, and uh, uh, I also invited Kuro Iwasato-san from, uh, he's an ex-Toyota manager. And uh, I, would, I, I wanted Mary to talk about TPS, Toyota Production System, and I wanted Kuro Iwasan to talk about Agile, so vice versa. <laughs> so TPS is well known in Japan, Toyota Production System. And second year, I uh, invite Alan Shalway uh, and uh, Ikujiro Nanaka Sensei, uh, who, who, about whom I'm talking later in this session. So it's, it's changing, it's changing. Uh, gradually, it's changing. So, uh, what prevents the main IT department to hire their own employees and start them? Yes, them? yes. What prevents them? Why do they don't do that? Why do they like, subcontract and for the subcontract? What is the reason behind it? Uh, the project size always varies, so they do not want to keep engineers inside. But they can contract and then let them go, right? That's the point. Uh, turnover rate is very rate, very low. Oh. They don't change jobs. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, 19, sorry, uh, 2011, I was happy to invite uh, Jeff Sutherland and Ikujiro uh, Naraka uh, at the same time in the event called Innovation Sprint 2011. Okay, I will talk about Naraka's Scrum here. This is the main part I would like to talk to you. <coughs> so, uh, this is the book I first read about Scrum. Uh, it's by uh, Ken Schroever and Mike Beadle. Uh, this book start, starts with this quote from this uh, paper, The New New Product Development Game which is uh, authored by Nonaka-san. It says, uh, the Rerere's approach to product development may conflict with the goals of maximum speed and flexibility. Instead, a holistic or rugby approach, where the team tries to go, go the distance as a unit, passing the ball back and forth, may better serve today's competitive requirements. And this is the uh, original paper, uh, the new new product development game, written by uh, Takeuchi san and Nonaka san. Uh, Hiroshi, uh, sorry, Hiotaka Takeuchi is now in uh, Harvard Business School. And Nonaka Iguzuro is in uh, Hitotsubashi in Japan. They always work together. And it says, it says stop running the relay, rel relay race and take up rugby. And this is the key uh, figure, uh, key picture they drew. 
And this, oh, they analyzed, uh, oh, they gathered uh, Japanese uh, new development projects and analyze it and uh, uh, explain how they're doing so uh, faster than Americans. <laughs> so uh, this, is, this is a phase gate approach they took from NASA's PPP, phase uh, planning, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know. But uh, this is from uh, uh, Fuji Xerox, and this is from Honda. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's very something parallel to uh, waterfall to Agile, as you can see. But he didn't uh, mention about software at all. O only uh, new development, uh, new product development. And they found that uh, using this, this type of uh, knowledge transfer, uh, this, this type knowledge are transferred by uh, paper, written thing. And this type knowledge can be, knowledge is conveyed by people or someone who started this project. So uh, this, in, in, in his paper, uh, this rugby approach, not relay, relay buttons, but the buttons, relay buttons approach, uh, this one is more flexible and fast, he analyzed it. And uh, a bit about the history, this picture is written by uh, Kawamuchi-san in Rakuten in Japan uh, with uh, Jim Copley. Uh, this is a, in Japan, a first manufacturing industry in Japan, this uh, paper, the new new product development game, uh, was written in 1986. And uh, of course, uh, Toyota production system is old, older than that. that. And Scrum uh, referenced to this uh, new, new development game to articulate what they're doing in Scrum. And of course, Scrum and XP uh, rely, uh, affecting each other, and they are all from patterns community. And uh, it's Agile is, uh, the term Agile uh, was born in uh, 2001 to unite all those uh, iterative development. And Toyota Productive System is abstracted into lean thinking or lean, sorry, lean uh, thinking and uh, now it's used as a services or um, uh, development and other, other than uh, manufacturing now. And Lean Soft, de uh, soft Development by Tom and Mary Papendik is written. And now Kanban uh, spin-off from Agile. And <coughs> Lean Startup also spin-off from Agile and Lean. So this is a star startup uh, category here. So I would like to talk about this, uh, this thing here. Um, I have only uh, 30 minutes, so I'll skip this slides, but uh, it's, it's like this. Uh, he is Nonaka-sensei, he is still alive. And uh, last year I, I had uh, three or five times of discussion with him about his uh, thought of Scrum, original thought. And first, he wrote this uh, Scrum, uh, or new, new product development game, uh, in Harvard Business Review. And then he also wrote the knowledge creating company, which is very famous, about in knowledge, create, knowledge management area. And he, where he uh, named the model of innovation or knowledge creation as a, a Seki model. I'll tell you. I will talk about this later. And third, in this Managing Flow, the book, and also the Wise Leadership, which is written last year in Harvard Business Review about phronesis or phonetic leadership. I will talk, talk about this later too. And he also wrote a book in Japanese uh, about U.S. Marine about how to organize in teams. So, I would like to talk about this uh, first today. And uh, Scrum is famous in the Agile world. But um, other thoughts are also very, very uh, intimately related to this Scrum concept. So I would like to explore with you about Seki model first. 
second model. Uh, he says that new knowledge uh, or knowledge creation is a uh, transformation of tacit and explicit knowledge to each other. Sorry, what was that? Tacit knowledge and explicit knowledge. I will talk about this uh, soon. And uh, this transformation from tacit to explicit and explicit tacit is at the core of the innovation, he says. Tacit knowledge. Tacit knowledge is something you know, uh, but you don't tell, or you don't explicitly write. Um, this handcrafting is an uh, example of tacit knowledge. You know, but you don't necessarily write, or you cannot write sometimes. It's, it's in you. It's a subjective and experiential, experiential knowledge that cannot be expressed in uh, written uh, sense, figures or formulas. So that craft is an uh, example of tacit knowledge. As you know, uh, people can know something even if they can't express it. So this is called tacit knowledge. Michael Pony said that you can know more than you tell. So the moral part is in this tacit knowledge. And a other type of knowledge is called explicit knowledge. And this is a, a form of knowledge which is written or which is objective. And science is a, a good example. It can be written and repeatedly applied to independent of the context. So Nunak-san said that uh, innovation or new knowledge or knowledge creation is about transforming tacit knowledge into explicit knowledge and the other way also. So the conversion from between the two knowledge is the key point. Yes, now uh, knowledge is explicit, can be explicit and can be tacit also, but it's, it's all one knowledge. Yeah, yeah. To but what do you mean by the other way around that is, you know, making yes. knowledge passive? To learn something in you by doing. Okay, learning by doing. Yes, yes, exactly. So this is what Nanaka-san wrote as a uh, Seki model, what he calls. Seki is uh, abbreviation of socialization, externalization, internalization, and combination. So. I will explain this. Uh, new knowledge always begins from individual as a tacit knowledge. Uh, through, from experience or th from inspiration or from learning or whatever. Or belief sometimes. Making thing belief. So first part is socialization, is uh, sharing this knowledge with experience talk with users or uh, experience users' uh, users scene. Or, so socialize it with people. And then move on to this externalization, which, is, which transforms tacit knowledge into explicit knowledge. So in, in this phase, you write things or you uh, ex ex uh, explain things in a uh, explicit form. Externalization. Externalize your knowledge from your body into words. And then, if it's externalized, you can combine your knowledge and edit knowledge to create a new knowledge. It's called com uh, combination. It's a uh, transformation from explicit knowledge to explicit knowledge. And then last part is internalization, which is, I said, the, the other way. Uh, learn things from those uh, newly uh, found uh, knowledge. OK? And uh, I will uh, give you an example. Uh, like Sprint Demo in Agile, it's a demo, so you can see how what's happening in the system or 
product, and you can see it, and you can feel it, and talk it. So, uh, them can be seen as a socialization of the product. Also, uh, this is a very important part. Uh, this is not a, uh, written in uh, any agile uh, development method, but use visiting users to get ideas or to get the feeling is very important uh, from the first uh, sprint. So visiting users is, I will place this here. Others. Um, story writing is the, this part. You, you feel, feel something and tacit knowledge into explicit written thing. And sprint planning, uh, yeah, it's, it's not strictly here, but it's combining the knowledge, uh, written knowledge, into an explicit combination of the uh, story, or epic or something. And everything about learning is internalization. Learn things with in your, into yourself. Other examples, like uh, pair programming, uh, it's not ex exactly here, but um, Programming cannot be taught by manuals. So you pair program sometimes and to learn skills from, uh, from seniors, how to program. So, but pair programming is making knowledge as a program, so it can be seen as externalization, but uh, one aspect of pair programming is here. And co like coding standard is like uh, gathering known knowledge in the project into a uh, coding standard, written thing, so it can be placed here. Uh, lots of examples can be uh, into here, but um, anyway, anyway, so Munakad's view of Scrum is that a project product development is the uh, getting new knowledge from customers and uh, realize it into a working software. So through this uh, Seki model, he created knowledge, and this created knowledge can be uh, realized as a working working software, and also a development team, which is continues uh, uh, be a good team. So growing working software and growing Scrum team, both are the product of this uh, his uh, knowledge creation model. Yes. What do you mean by growing Growing means, but not by numbers, but um, learning. Knowledge. I would say uh, learning. Sorry. Okay. And, okay, uh, it's almost time, sorry. So I, I will go to the last part. This is uh, Soichiro Honda, uh, who is the founder of Honda Motors. Uh, I'll, he will, I will talk about how this knowledge creation can be uh, in the Scrum. So, he, this is a writer. He is the creator of this uh, motorcycle. He goes to this field and uh, crouching at the level of the eye of the writer and with his hand touching the, the field. He actually listens the engine sound by hand. So what he's doing is tacit knowledge to tacit knowledge uh, gaining. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so he goes to Gemba. He goes to the real world, customer's world, and get this view of the customer and get this empathy from uh, this writer. And he is uh, creating, he's, he's creating this, the vision of the new motor car. And then he goes to workplace and he works together with the people developing the motorcycle and drawing, by drawing on, the, on this floor or talk by words. So what I would like to say here is that the Scrum the original Scrum is about, not about the phase, but also about the person who, who is motivated by the user or the customer is here, and he carries the tacit knowledge from the user 
or from the experience he had with the user, through the process, he continues to uh, providing the emotions and uh, a tacit knowledge uh, to the team, feeding the knowledge. So uh, it can be said that uh, Soichiro Honda is, the, uh, is one of the uh, super product owner uh, who was alive in Japan. And uh, this is the last uh, Nonaka's, uh, always he used this slide. Uh, he thinks that <coughs> thinking and doing at the same time. So not, uh, not only, uh, don't divide thinking part and doing part separately into separate organization or separate people. So this uh, Soichi Honda is doing or acting or uh, involved in, into customers and also thinking. So thinking and doing part cannot be separated in new thing, in innovation, when you create new ideas. So this is the last part. Okay, okay, I only have 30 minutes, sorry. So I try to make myself clear, but sorry, I might, uh, I'm not sure I did, but um, I'm happy to be here and talk about Japanese Scrum <laughs> with you. So, thank you very much. You. Kenji, um, are there any uh, companies where real Scrum, not fake Scrum, is actually happening in uh, Japan that you've seen? Uh, you mean Fake scrum. Uh, I mean modern, I don't mean the original model, but mm. you know, scrum as we know it today, where, yes. where real scrum is in place. Y yes, uh, there are some, some projects I know that scrum is in place. Yes. And because uh, waterfall and traditional systems are so common, what is it about those organizations that has allowed uh, scrum to be introduced? Is there some good, pattern? Good, good, good. Yes, I found some. Uh, this, some industries, this picture I show you, uh, the subcontracting, is uh, decaying. Like uh, website, uh, do you know Rakuten? It's getting global. And someone from Rakuten is maybe here. I don't know. So web, web website uh, creation. And, uh, and the other one is a gaming. Gaming industry found that uh, they they uh, hire good engineers into themselves and doing Scrum. And uh, a lot of people are moving, oh, time, I'm sorry, to that industry too. Thank you.